folks welcome back today i am on top of the trends oh my god i just ordered this patrick star brand that's right patrick star just came out with his own makeup line called one size um this is the go off makeup dissolving mist and he launched with two products makeup wipes which like man not exciting but a makeup removing mist oh my god never even thought about it before makes me want to put my bioderma into a spray bottle and see what that's like maybe we should try that i don't know it's crazy to me this is the one size go off makeup dissolving mist and according to sephora this is an epic continuous mist that slips over the skin effortly and instantly dissolves heavy makeup which is why I've got this full face of makeup here, without leaving skin feeling tight or dry. It's supposed to be good for any skin type, um, especially for dryness or oiliness. It's vegan and cruelty free, and it's supposed to be no drip. So pretty interesting. It says the super fine spray applies evenly to face and transform into a milky foam when rinsed off with water. It's infused with calming jojoba and brightening rose hip oils to refresh and soothe skin while removing makeup with ease. So pretty crazy. The bad news is this stuff retails for 30 bucks. It's not cheap. Uh, you get 3.4 ounces or 115 mils and I'm not too sure how much it last for. Um, it is like an aerosol hairspray kind of deal. It's kind of like the Morphe Mister. I've never used it, but I think that's kind of like maybe the inspiration here. So this stuff is extremely flammable and it warns you it may, contain, may explode if heated. So some serious stuff. Overall, the packaging is really nice. It's just like a metallic case it's like kind of a soft touch i don't know it's it's nice i like it but we have to see how it does removing makeup so let me clip my bangs up and get my hair out of my face and i'm wearing full foundation i've got contour blush highlight on all cream products i've super overdrawn my lips i've got lashes on these are actually magnetic lashes so let me pull them off um and it's paired with magnetic eyeliner of course as well as some regular liquid eyeliner um we've got also eyeshadow it's primed my skin's primed so really under eye concealer this is like a full full face spray eight to ten inches away from face until it is evenly coated then massage it into your skin and gently wipe off they do recommend you pair it with their makeup remover wipes, but I feel like makeup remover wipes, not so environmentally sustainable, kind of not so hot. So I did not choose to go with them. But that reminds me, I do need a bowl of water. So let me run and prepare that. All right, so I got a bowl of hot water. Normally you would do this at your sink and a face cloth to remove whatever melts off, I guess. So gonna be blind here for a minute because I need my glasses but here we go 8 to 10 inches even spray let's mist all right so some things it is very fine it almost feels like nothing's spraying onto your face it's also weird because like you kind of expect it will be cold but it doesn't come off cold. It just, it almost feels more like an oil than a liquid. Um, it does have a scent. It smells just very perfumey and kind of like, some people get offended when I say old lady-ish, but like Patrick Star old lady-ish, like maybe Patrick Star's mom, I don't know. But it smells a little, I would prefer if it didn't have this smell. It is fairly strong as well and already I can feel it kind of like slipping and sliding around my skin so I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens when we start massaging oh 
seems pretty effective. And don't have my glasses on, so I can't 100% see how good of a job I'm doing. I will say, it does have like that oily feel that like the Beauty Blender Cleanser has, if you felt that, where it does have that super slippery kind of oily feel to it. And I really hated the residue that the Beauty Blender, Blender Cleanser left on the skin. But it's a little different here, I think, because we're gonna wipe it off. So let me go ahead and see if we add some water, is it gonna like foam up? I look, I look like how 2020 feels. All right, and let's move to a face cloth as well. And I'm gonna just rinse off my face cloth and go over my skin one more time. All right, and there we go. I don't know what I expected. It was really quick, it was really easy. It was nice to just kind of like massage everything off. You could be really gentle around your eyes. I definitely still have some makeup residue left. So maybe instead of reaching for my Bioderma, maybe I'll just spray some on one of my reusable um, makeup remover pad things. And let's try using that just on the eye. Mm, yeah, super effective. Let's go super crazy. It gets a lot of makeup off. All right, so there we go, completely clean. Having rinsed it off, uh, my skin doesn't feel dry, but it also doesn't feel like residue-y or anything which was my biggest fear with this product. Um, maybe because I was already biased against the Beauty Blender, Beauty, Blend, Beauty Blender or Waterless Cleanser and because that one has a residue because you don't rinse it off and I hated that thing. But this feels really nice. So overall, I think it was super effective at taking off makeup super easy to use you just spray it on it takes like two seconds i feel like you probably don't use that much product every time you use it felt really nice at every step uh whether that was initial application rubbing it in or rinsing it off uh, and the feeling afterwards um so i guess my biggest complaints would be it's 30 dollars, but i pay 25 bucks for my bioderma and, but this is 500 milliliters. This is only 100 milliliters. So I guess it really depends on how much you have to use every time. But I also felt like it was almost a little bit easier to use than the Bioderma because it coats all over evenly and then you just do a very gentle rub, no tugging or anything to get it right off. And yeah, it's really easy to like spot remove makeup as well. So overall, I have to say I really liked it a lot. I really wasn't sure if I was going to or like what to really expect. I honestly thought it would be more like a traditional makeup mist, which comes in like this type of pump bottle. So I'm pretty shocked to see it's in an aerosol container, but performance wise, no complaints. My only, com my only other complaint other than cost is the fact that it's scented because I'm not a huge fan of that scent. In general, I'm just kind of of the mind, why bother to put scents in skincare? So I just feel that that type, that specific type of scent and that strength of scent would really be a turn off to people who have sensitive skin. Watch out if you have that. Otherwise, if you wanna try a new makeup remover, you're looking for something fun, looking for something new, definitely try it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised like I was. Overall, I'm going to give the one size go off makeup dissolving mist a four out of five. Uh, if I was sensitive to scent, it would probably be more like a two and a half out of five, but I'm not. So buggy me. And you know what? I do think I would repurchase it and 
yeah, I think I will recommend it. So anyway, that's it from me. Just a quick little video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, if you haven't sent me in a postcard yet to enter my skincare giveaway, make sure you check out the video linked up here, which is my contest. Uh, just pop a postcard in the mail, the snail mail, and uh, then you'll be entered. So far, I've gotten two postcards, one from Linda and one from Joy. Thank you guys very much. So you are tied neck and neck for the Radiant Spin Care system. But I am expecting a few more postcards, so make sure you get those in. Uh, the contest ends on August 1st, but just in case you're mailing it internationally or something, I will wait a little bit after August 1st. Um, maybe announce the winner more towards the mid or end of August. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. Huge shout out to my beautiful patrons who help bring this content to you guys. If you want to see more consumer-funded beauty rather than brand-funded beauty, make sure you consider supporting your favorite content creator. If you want to hang out with me more, I am streaming on Twitch on Monday evenings. Uh, just kind of a chill, relaxed, blah, kind of de-stressor. Uh, so that's Mondays. And with that, I will see you all in my next beauty video on Tuesday. Bye, guys.